Bowser. All right. All right let's... Definitely is going to be banking off of just eating all these hits from Young Link and then coming out on top and you anyway, like cashing out on the rage. Yeah. Especially the command grab. On this stage especially, yeah, he can definitely get some early kills off the platforms. Apparently, yeah, that's 47%, man. Yeah, let me get that easy 47 <laughs> already. 63. Got of the Whirling Fortress as well. Such a good move out of shield or for covering rolls at the ledge. Yeah. Oh my god, he's, all... he's already almost dead, dude. JDJ's not messing around, man. Yeah, and Young Link is not necessarily midway. He's kind of light, so good pressure on the shield with the bomb allows him to kind of get some space to breathe here. But JT Day is not kidding around there. He's got that forwarder to push into the edge guard. Yeah, Alpha is going to want to hang back. He's normally a very aggressive player, I feel, but oh, that F tilt two frame. I couldn't tell if Alpha was holding down there, but either or, really good positioning on that hitbox from JTJ. Nice. Able to get the neutral jab. Once more, nice. great catch on the in here. Still alive, but only... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't take it's, any percent whatsoever. So it's good yeah. too because he Z dropped the bomb specifically to cover the platform, and then he went for the forward. So he kind of had all the option coverages there. The only thing that GTJ could have done is dip a little lower, and even then, Alpha could just hold down on the control stick and punish. Yep, good option coverage there. Still though, JTJ is finding out, uh, finding himself just winning the percentage war. Man, he's getting way more of these hits. That matter here. This should be a free hit. Yeah, nice use of the flame breath, man. Snag him out of all the jumps, make him uh, recover in a very exploitable way. I really like JT Bowser. He's playing very smart in this matchup. And that's kind of like what you said, right? Alpha is usually the aggressor here. Nice. Ooh, no great tech job. scenario here, and he's able to get that job block up to 105 to 116. Alpha is playing and turning it up to 11 just so he can come back here. Great directional air dodge. Just to get grab the ledge. Nice. Fair into the grab. That is guaranteed at low percent. Wasn't able to get the throw combo, but still 28 is a like... Punish? Yep. There's a four smash out of shield. 28%, not too bad. Alpha's been doing a pretty good job of just getting these revenge stocks without taking too much percent. Yeah. Warlord Fortress is a great move, but its cooldown isn't as great as you would think it would be. So it's good to alpha, for Alpha to understand, okay, I do need to hold shield a little bit extra on that Warlord Fortress and punish accordingly. But the one thing that Warlord Fortress does have to accommodate that is that it has great distances in which it can travel. And that's why you see JTJ and a lot of Bowser mains use it at the ledge. Covers rolls, covers neutral getup. Really great punish move. Yep. Alpha's starting to, he's starting to lock JTJ down a little bit here. It's pushed into the corner though. That whip grab's gonna cost him. Oh, this there's flame a flame gonna cost for him. all the percent. Not gonna get the kill, but yeah, that's really good damage for Bowser. Next big hit could be the stock if Alpha's not careful. Oh, he's gonna do with this bomb here. Ooh, catches him slipping. The rolling force is gonna send him in the corner of the stage. Ooh, oh, doesn't no. care about that bomb at all. Clean anti-air up to that move is actually so good. Not only is it strong, it retains the tough guy properties. Uh, by being like, I think he has super armor and tangibility. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If you try to if you try to hit him while that moves out, he'll just tank the hit. No, and, and uh, the, the thing about or... it too for JTJ specifically in that situation is he knows after Young Link throws the bomb, what's the next option? He's gonna want to follow up with an aerial or a landing grab. So it's good for him to just understand. I can just punish this move right before Young Link even gets the chance to go for the aerial that he, he would find. Yep, great, great job there from JTJ like the bowser pick yeah i think in this specific match for alpha he does a lot of good of turning it up to 11 but i think just kind of slowing the roll here play a little bit more patiently to kind of punish jtj because jtj knows what young link is about that kind of gives him that situation here but we'll see how game two bodes for alpha in this situation well i feel like alpha wasn't doing super bad that set he just got put in the corner against one of the scariest characters and uh it's really hard to you know get out of the corner without taking damage when you're fighting yeah. Bowser. Yep, double back air here, and look at that. Speaking of putting people in the corners here, Alpha's making sure JTJ familiarizes himself with this corner really well. 77 already off the nice. bat. Yeah, I like the Kalos pick here for uh, for Alpha. He's going to live a little bit longer. And uh, he can hang back if he chooses to. <laughs> Not even really playing that game right now, though. He's Is just this... applying all the pressure. These combos are flying. Might get a zero to death here if he plays his cards right. Oh, he's looking to play all the cards right here. Look. Ooh. Excellent landing there to the up tilt. 
Making sure he commits with an option. Empty hop to oh the ground for the goodness. forward throw. 201 here. Alpha, can you finish Ooh. the food here? Down there finally for the play here. Ooh, Ladies and gentlemen, zero goodness. to death. And Alpha responds from game one. Oh, yeah. That's one way to make a statement. It's coming out swinging in the game two without even taking any percent on the first stock. And that's the power of a young link in this matchup, man. Sometimes you can make it so Bowser can't really play the game that much. Yeah. Look and at the stage pick, take. too. Look at the stage pick, too. Young Link has a lot of space to definitely move around. Yep. And look how he can get off the ledge now. He can just go to that top platform next to the ledge and not really be uh, put in as many bad spots as he was on Town and City. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better as myself, Strides. Yeah, bomb throw to cover the jump. Excellent play here. But JTJ Ooh, finally slips back out the back air. You never want to get hit by that move. It doesn't matter. Low percent, high percent. It, it, it hurts. Yeah. Have you seen the nails on Bowser? Man, he's never clipped them. Come on. Okay, JCA still trying to fight here, though. No, the roll in gets covered by that forward air. Only 18% alpha. Yeah, he's definitely. Yeah, he's turning up the jets on this one. And now that he you know, has a lead, man, it's going to be <laughs> really hard for JTJ. Because yeah. now he has to try to approach a character that's throwing all these things at him so fast and gets nice. so much reward that off of one hit. So good. I'm sorry, Strides. Like, I love the way how he waited for that direct, the air dodge. Great stuff on Alpha, but unfortunately, JTJ was not going to falter to it. Excellent play. You can see that Alpha is indeed turned it up to 11, but he's looking to read everything from JTJ with such a two stock lead. Nice. The Zare extension was really nice. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> back here, one back up. There, That's whoa. nowhere to go, man. JTJ was just trying to roll out of the corner, find a safe on the ledge, but. Alpha didn't let him have it. Really, really good uh, answer for the game, too. I mean, last week, Bam said it, man. If you're rocking the tag Alpha, you better play like one. If not, you're gonna you're definitely not deserving of the name. He definitely plays like an yeah. Alpha there on game three. And that was such a commanding lead. Was such a commanding game that Alpha was able to put up against GTJ. What a message to send, man. I'm not free. Yeah. And I'm sure as hell he I'm not gonna let Colonies be the only one out there. Yeah. He almost made it look like the first game didn't even happen, man. <laughs> like, completely <laughs> different player. Ready? Alpha also does have a, a link as well. Yeah. If he chooses to pull that out. Yeah, uh, that, that back air one to up tilt or up smash is true with link out as well. It's just different percents. Alright. So, JTJ is choosing to go for a PS2 here. I don't blame him. Another really good Bowser stage. Has just amount of uh, right amount of space for him to play on, and uh, you never can go wrong with having platforms as yeah. Bowser. You I, you always want that earlier kill on your uh, flying slam. As much as I love PS2 as the gentleman starter pick, I don't agree with going back to it, especially because yeah, this is a great stage for Bowser. Like we said here, it's the grab here not on the platform, well, but enough to put damage on Alpha. Off. Since it was oh, town. Oh, first time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but didn't even need the platform kill there. Just that. Clean, back air, again, one of Bowser's best aerials. Actually, all of his aerials are pretty good. Ooh, jab? Oh, okay, I thought I would go for a jab reset. Still, Bowser's double jab is really good, too. Really good boxing tool. And it sets up deck chases as well. So, nice. yeah, this is great for JTJ first stock. Banking yeah. on the rage, too. Ooh, big tech chase, though. Such a good mood to use if they uh, miss attack on the platform. It covers like roll, neutral get up really well. Double dare? Nope, nice. Ooh. Able to hold the shield. I'll I'm surprised you could shield after the first one connected. Oh, that was scary. Ooh. He gave him the air dodge he was waiting for, but yeah, he didn't he go did, for it. And Boomerang Still. was not there to save Alpha from the command grab, unfortunately. Good parry, oh. I like it though. Nice, gets the platform chase. Oh, that zero is so unsafe. Yes. Not gonna die in the back throw, but so you don't want to be this glitch. Good for him oh, to toss down. the bomb though. That forces JTJ to hold shield. That gives Alpha enough time. Boomerang once again biding time oh. and enough to come back towards oh. center stage though, but the last set of Rolling Fortress comes in clutch. Oh my god, so scary. There's the bomb saving him from the ledge trap situation. Oh my god, they both don't want to make a mistake here. See, if Alpha can capitalize, he has a lot of leeway at the ledge. Ooh, he's going to die to the forward throw. I didn't expect it to kill Bowser, even though I, it got buffed. But here's the flying slam. 
that's all you need. too, because he, ca he called out the potential spot dodge, and that was all he had to do in the situation. Yep. Doesn't even need the platform to kill with it at that percent. Yeah. But now we're going down to the wire. Okay. This is going to be up throw up there. Free 33%. Catching the land here. Nice. Oh. Rose that shield. Oh my god. Good tech chase as well. I get scared when Bowser's tech chase there because they can go for the the down B to shield break you if you shield on the platform. But uh, command grab is just as good, if not better. Nice. Good use of oh. boomerang. He angles it upward at a 45 degree angle just so he can cover the jump there and force JTJ to play a little bit more ground there. This is going to be a combo confirmed to the corner carry. 68% right. catches the landing here. Can you get the, oh. the downer, but not enough. Yeah, he got I the like landing it. hit the downer, so he's a little bit safer. Oh my goodness. He's got to watch it, though. Those are very risky. If Alpha sees it, he can just force match his landing really hard. Yeah, he's got to be careful with the commitments here. Oh, didn't catch the roll. Oh my goodness. So scary for both players right now. Oh, no, oh there's jumped. the ant they are up to. Oh. Yeah, everyone jumps in that situation, especially character like Young Link who has those great aerials. But JTJ is going to get the last say in that. Really, really good stuff. Oof. These guys are just going back and forth, man. Yeah. And JTJ with the first game, Alpha with the strong two stock second game, and then JTJ just fighting back on PS2. And it, it just goes to show how JTJ is knowledgeable in the matchup. He's able to call out Alpha on those usual Young Link options, right? Jumping out of the, jumping out of jumping out and going for Boomerang or just trying to land with Down Air. You can see that JTJ is really well versed in the Young Link matchup here. But let's see if Alpha can actually crank the knob off here on what is the return back to town and city. Interesting. Uh, Alpha, this was the stage Alpha uh, won on, so I'm surprised to see, or sorry, not Alpha, this is a stage JTJ won on, so kind of surprised to see that Alpha took him back here, but he must be really confident in his ability to play on this stage. Also, the possible ban on Kalos, just because JTJ knows what Kalos is for Young Link at this point. Right. But isn't there two bans, though? Yeah. Like, you could have well, banned this and Kalos if you wanted to. I mean, but also, I think JTJ evaluates, like, how good Bowser could be on the stage, right, with a command grab and triplats. Right, right. I mean, he did win on it anyway, so. Right now, though, Alpha is just, man, he's racking up all the percent. I don't know. JTJ's going to have to do something here. Catches the roll, doesn't get the forward air, but still covering that air dodge. Ooh. Excellent back air there on the return yep. as well, just because he knows he can confirm it into a hero spin. Yeah, that was just really good platform pressure from Alpha to secure that first stock. Yep, back air one to hero spin. Excellent play from Alpha. We get again here. Down throw. I like it. Roar back into fire arrow. Carry Ooh. spin across the stage, please. Almost got that arrow to reset on the platform, too. Yeah, Alpha's looking really comfortable in this match right here. Hitting so many back air ones as well. Nice. JTJ looking so for a little bit of a landing here. Finally, JTJ with the down air. Oh, too early. Oh, no. He might die? No, he's good. He's good. Okay. He's good. He held down there, uh, surprisingly. I thought he would just try to hit him into the stage and force the uh, stage spike. Yeah, JTJ kind of forcing this kill, trying to make something happen. But Alpha, then, he's just so slippery. Ooh, yeah, another back there one, man. At this point for JTJ, I wouldn't be looking for the stock, right? You kind of want to start looking to find your way into the neutral in which you can find the stock here, because look Ooh. at where the neutral is after oh Alpha. Oh my god, He's double down there to up there. Yeah, Alpha, man, he is going in. But there's the rock, the rock force match thrown in the taunt, man. I don't blame him. You got to pump your, yourself up somehow, because this is oh, a yeah. huge feed. Nice, we're looking for to get back on the stage. Double Thank arrow? You. Triple arrow! Oh, wait, he went for Nair? I'm surprised. I thought that was going to be a free for it. Been attacking to the upper. Pretty sure any other character was dead, but... <laughs> it is still the city and Bowser, that is true. Okay, take the damage with the... Nice. Uh, flank slam. That was a good forward to push Alpha off the stage, but also a good follow-up. Nice. Oh. oh, no. And I respect it, too, because he wanted to call out Alpha for the usual young Moon player, like Boomerang or forward air and that would have been a great call up but unfortunately this time alpha had changed that at the last second yeah alpha just had so much time to just react to him charging up smash so he has waited
All right, going down to game five. I definitely expected this to go to game five with how much they've been going back and forth in each match. I mean, these matches that we've been seeing tonight, like Sharp and Mel feels like a grand finals match. And Alpha versus JTJ definitely feels like a grand finals match. So a lot of good matches yes. to be had all around here on MSM 27. Yeah, you. I mean, that's just what I come to expect watching this tournament. Um, every week is really competitive, especially in the top eight side. 500 entrants, ladies and gentlemen. The, one of the highest entered Monday tournaments here. But JTJ will go for the count. I won't even say counterplay, just the character swap here with Palutena. So I saw JTJ playing Mario um, as his other character. I haven't seen him pick Palu yet. But uh, let's see. Let's see how the pocket Palu fares. Really strong character overall. One of the best in the game. I know Jump Steady is rubbing his hands together for this one here. Another Palu versus Young oh. Yeah, I mean, you usually can't go wrong with this character. If you have solid fundamentals, uh, your Palu is probably decent. Yeah, most definitely. And he doesn't have that many bad matchups either, so definitely uh, don't blame him for switching to Palu here. She is also, though, very common, so most people know how to fight her. Yeah. That's like the double-edged sword. You pick, you pick a common character that's really strong, but it also means people know how to deal with your character, too. Let's see, though, what happens here. Already really even between both people. I say that <laughs> as Alpha gets that clean arrow into the downer on the platform. Ooh, Zara to the grab. I didn't know you could combo into that at low percent. Good to know. Nice. Excellent bear one yet again, demonstrating that common young link knowledge here. Great hero mm -hmm. spin. There's a follow up, but unable to confirm to the upper, though. JTJ is fighting for this 100%. Looking to take that into a full stock, but that dash attack is not confirmed. Oh, gets the explosive flame snipe, though. Nice stuff for JTJ. Trying to keep himself alive in this set. It's going to take more than that, though. All right, Alva just hanging back, looking for these setups. Ooh, bomb boomerang down air. Another really good combo from Alpha. His setups are definitely consistent. Okay, gets the textures with the force smash. Nope, no ledge trap. Even with Bowser, uh, most times, JJ had a really hard time keeping Alpha at pinned at the corner outside like the first game. Constantly in the returning tournament in this Palu switch. Yeah. That's fine for Alpha. He'll take that downer or that dash attack trade if it means he gets to keep his stock. Ooh, he wanted to call out that aerial. Unfortunately, though, Alpha's kind of sticking his boots to the ground a little bit here. It's good enough, but see, you can see he has a commanding pace. But he's kind of just keeping calm here. He knows, like, I have such a lead. I'm a high percent. It's JTJ who has to make the play. Uh, chip yep. in with the damage here and then find the confirm with the fire arrow when possible. Yeah. Alpha knows that he doesn't have to really take any huge risks. He can just get the... Oh, oh no. I think he did a double air dodge on accident. That was, like, an easy recovery for him since uh, JTJ didn't even go off stage with an air or anything. <laughs> well, let's see if JTJ can uh, capitalize off of that SD. And bring this this game back. Yeah, so far he gets like the nares, but his uh, nair follow-ups don't seem to be as consistent yet. Yeah, missing out on a lot of damage, but not too bad for him right now. Definitely bring this back as long as he just like. Keeps his uh, stage control. Like he's getting some good back airs to put Alpha in the corner of the stage, but he's still letting him come back to center pretty easily. Yeah. Let's try to apply more pressure in that situation. It's good too on JT Day to just oh. go for that neutralizer specifically because every time there's a bomb around, he's able to also just get around the bomb, but also oh. leave that Nair into. Oh. Unfortunately, here that boomerang confirm into the down tilt will be enough for Alpha to get the game five and move on to winner's side. Nice. Man, that was a really good confirm to close it out. 